Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to get your API key on Zeroda in 2024. So today we're exploring how to obtain a Zeroda API key, which allows you to integrate your applications with Zeroda trading platform. Whether you are building trading bots, analyzing markets data, or creating some custom trading solutions, an API key of course is essential for you. So in this tutorial, we'll show you the steps or the process of how to do it. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. First, you'll need to go and sign up for your Zero account. To do so, go and open a browser. For me here, I'm using Brave. For you, you can use whatever browser you have on your PC. Once you open that browser, basically just go to this URL section specifically and type Zeruda dot com and hit the enter button once you do so you'll find yourself in their home screen or main screen right away so basically just go and click on sign up and make sure to log in into your account if you don't have an account yet make sure to go and create a new one now what you'll need to do basically if you want to get your api key no need to go and access settings etc all you need to do open a new tab type zero dot space api hit the enter button once you do so as an example this will take you, of course, to Kite Connect. Don't worry, because Kite Connect is what's powered zero. That if you connect or if you're logging into your account, as an example, if you scroll down, we'll just check as an example what's Kite. Yeah, as you can see, what's Kite Connect API? So it will even the support of zero. That's then what's Kite Connect API? How to sign up for Kite Connect and get an API key? As an example, they'll show you even here. Let's just follow this article's example. So. Of course, you would like to log in for an account, for your account, for your zero account, make sure to log in into it. If you don't, click on sign up to create a new account. And then you'll have to follow this article, how to sign up for a Kite Connect and get your API key. So as you can see, to sign up for a Kite Connect, you'll have to create a developer account by visiting this. So click on that. You need to even go here and create an account. As an example for me, I'll just keep filling up some random informations. Uh, they might even not accept to create my account, but for you, of course, make sure to have accurate like information so your account will be created. An example for me, I'll just do some random things. I'll just do here some random things, accept the terms, and click on sign up. I don't think they will accept, like, okay, yeah, they accept it. That's good. So, as you can see, once I create an account, I'll just go in here and click on create a new app. Once I do so, of course, uh, they want the type to be connect or publisher. Of course, connect you will get uh, 2,000 credits for 30 days. And for fid uh, fidgets, of course, trading API includes publisher as well. But if you want publisher, no API access, SML, Java Express, scripts, button, basket. So depending on whatever you want. But normally you would like to connect because it will, it will give you API. Then you'll have to get a name, zero the client ID, or you can even choose an icon for it, and etc. Description, etc. Of course, everything that has this uh, is necessary. So for me, I'll just enter some random informations. And URL, I'll just do HTTPS like uh, Google, where you make sure to enter your, your information is accurate. And descriptions, I'll just gonna do test in here and click on create. So the app costs 2000 credits to create and is valid for 30 days from the moment. So click on I understand. So I'll just type I understand and click on OK. As you can see, you don't have sufficient credits. OK, so I'll just go to publisher why not and then click on create but as you can see when i click on uh, like that as you can see i have the, my api key right here but it's not like generated if i go back let me just go and click on create as you can see if i go to publisher there is no api access so for you make sure to have some credits for you before like trying to get your api key it's not totally free to get your api key right now you'll be able to get your api key but do not be able, I guess, to use it another. As you can see, you'll have no API access, but you'll have some HTML slash JavaScript buttons and baskets. But if you want full, like, uh, Vigilant Trading API, you'll need to uh, choose the type connect, but it will require from you 2,000 credits. As an example, uh, let me just go and check, like, uh, two, uh, 200, 2,000, like, credits in kites. And kites, how much it's worth, as an example. In dollars just check how much as example so yeah let's just do here and check let's see an example so it seems like 2000 like rupees maybe and yeah maybe maybe it's uh, rupees but or something like that let's just go and do 2000 but i don't think that's the right one i don't think like i guess it's rupees so let's just do here 2000 rupees uh two dollars so example it's around 
two, uh, 23, 24, like, but I don't know, I'm not very sure if that's rubies or credits off there. So you'll have to go, of course, and buy your credits, as you can see, and make sure to go and click on add credits as example. And once you click on add credits, you'll have to pay for it, example. Maybe as example, let's say, I wanna pay with my wallet, and I wanna pay with Amazon Pay, or I don't know, I wanna pay with this, example. Yeah, it's 2,000 rupees, so it's around $24 uh, if you wanna get your API key, but it will be available only for 30 days, so keep that in mind. And you'll have access to your API key, of course, after that, is cancel. You will have access for your API key. And like this example, you'll have your API key and you have full access to it and you'll be good to go. So that's going to be it for me today. Thank you for watching and goodbye.